conscience. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. As this guy makes the walk here tonight, let's talk about the kicking technique. It is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph anything. He gets his foot to the target blindingly fast. Shades of Edson Barboza, the foot off the canvas to the target as quick as anyone you'll ever see. Guys don't even see it coming. His opponent's certainly weary of those lightning fast kicks coming into the octagon tonight. This guy has tremendous ground technique and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. Kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. More than five years apart, with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He's at five feet seven inches tall. Weighing in at 136 pounds, fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Butcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall. Weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Bam Bam. And the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. That one hurt. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. Cut is good. And again, very nice combination. Wow! Another huge rock. He's out! He's out! That's it! Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, Joe, near perfect technique to land that seminal blow to finish the fight here in round one. And that's exactly the way a fighter draws it up. You don't absorb anything in terms of significant damage, and then you're able to knock your opponent out. So this is exactly the desired result for him here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Take a look at this from a different angle. Boom. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of the very first round. He played the winner by knockout Butcher. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You gotta touch you. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout.
Well, you know, this fighter, as he makes the walk tonight, is going to be looking to lean on the speed and the footwork in this particular matchup. Got to keep the hands high, right? You got to stick and move and get the head off the center line, given the power that's coming back. But I'm just not sure that the opponent can match the quickness. Exceptionally fast on the feet, very good at using angles to set up his offensive attacks, and very sound defensively as well. So has the reach advantage, figures to be able to use it here tonight. This is one slick striker with which to contend. This guy is one of the toughest guys I have ever seen inside the octagon. His ability to absorb punishment and then come back from it is just absolutely incredible to watch. So here he is, a very accomplished striker, finally making the walk to the octagon tonight. Got to think he'll be interested, of course, in keeping this fight standing in his wheelhouse. And he's got the takedown defense to keep this fight where he wants it, no doubt. He'll be looking to put on a striking clinic here tonight. Apparently, he worked tremendously hard on cardio for this camp. take for this lightweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introduce your first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Richie Boy. And now producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in. 150 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Kid Dynamite! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good I luck. am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna go down right now. Here we go. Now he goes for the single leg. Oh, nicely done early here with the takedown. Working out of that southpaw stance. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the butt. He caught that one right on the knee. That could have hurt. A couple of chins here being tested early. Well, he just hasn't been efficient with the strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is going to end up being an awful long night. Follows it up with a nice combination. Continues to mix it up. Going oh! Oh! This could be it. Now goes in and secures the takedown.
blocks the shot. How about that shin? Oh! He got hurt. He got hurt bad. He got nice little shot. Body shot. He's down. Oh! Oh, brutal ground and pound. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, very nice. Another shot. Nice takedown. Switching stances here. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, the kick lands to the head there, Joe, but I gotta say, he moved right into it. So let's see if he can make the adjustments, try to circle out, and at the very least, get that guard up. Not a good look for him here. Final minute of round one. And there's a single attempt. Again, that takedown is there. Starting to do some really significant... Oh, oh, he oh he's got some good shots here. He is clearly in big, big trouble. Good defense there. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Whoa, head kick. Big roundhouse now just misses. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Wow, full domination this round. Okay, listen, next round is very simple. Start loosening him up in the back. Hey, let's take a look here. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. Second round here. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Well, Joey seems to have... Oh, vicious body shot. He's hurt to the body. You can tell that shot hurt him bad. Whoa. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out. Whoa. Gigantic hook that got on the win. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Let's check it out from a different angle. And here it is again. Crank right on the jaw. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is about to stop in this contest at 36 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kid Diamond. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. All right, coming up next, the main event, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. 
He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they have the same height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you have seen pads around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introduce your first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, presenting the challenger, Boom Boom. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, Weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Manila, Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, the King. All right, so for the championship. You can give me your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This all right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Ah, yes, here we go. Five rounds if needed for the UFC lightweight championship of the world. <laughs> Huge uppercut misses. Look at the feint with that punch. Well placed kick there, Joe. Oh, significant. Oh, that left hook hurt him. This could be it right here. The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble. He's trying to hang on and keep his title. Body kick, look at that. Really swung for the fences with that hook. But misses. Oh! He's clearly hurt. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. 
into full guard. There, he got hurt. Nice leg kick. And now he lands a combination. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind him. Hurt him with that overhand. Oh, he's stunned again. Oh, he, oh, he might be out. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Under two minutes in the first round. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. That's Ooh, a hard he landed hook. a huge hook there, Joe. as he looks to improve position here. Under a minute now to go. Now he's inside control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He postures into place. Mount again. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Oh, and he's got a submission locked up. He's got the twister locked in. Wow, that was close. You need to change something up, man. I need you to start throwing some punches. In bunches. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. And here we see some really technical offense with submissions. And here it is from another angle. Brittany Palmer with us. Here we are, early round two. Whoa! He's badly, badly hurt. Oh, he might be out. Oh, head kick! How about that chin? Wow! He is stumbling. And another one, he's in trouble. And he landed the right hand there. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there. And he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. That one hurt. Very good defense on display here. Very good blocks. Looks like his leg is hurt here, Joe. You can see him looking a little bit. Oh! Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not... He hurt him again! Oh! He's got him hurt here. Big shots! He's hurt again!
garage, so there's a swing and a miss from him. And sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than we He tagged him again. Whoa! He's hurt. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you want to talk about execution, and he just couldn't have done it any better than that. He is known for his kicks, and that was just a perfectly placed in time kick. Full force, landed flush, full extension with the leg, and you knew that if his opponent didn't get the guard up, that was going to be the end of the night, and he went good night. Here we see it again. Boom! Right on the money. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Boom Boom. Well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish, and it is gonna take a special performance to dethrone the new UFC.